The unofficial start of summer marked by tragedy. A 15 year old drowned right here off the beach at East Fork Lake this afternoon. It's just a really sad situation, you know, seeing the family and watching the family. Obviously, we're all here with our families, with our kids and whatnot, and just say a prayer and hope for the best and give the family some comfort that they're really probably going to need. Families in shock following the death of a teenage swimmer at East Fork Lake. The sunny day in the water taking a turn when news of the missing teen started to spread. We heard him yelling and screaming, and then we seen a lady fall to the ground crying. So at that point, we knew something was up. Thomas Miller was there as the teen's family realized they were gone. We wasn't quite sure what was going on, and then finally, finally somebody was able, they realized that they were saying somebody went under the water and disappeared. Benjamin Miller was one of about a dozen people nearby who jumped in to help, literally linking together to search for the 15-year-old. ODNR had us build a chain, uh, about eight people out in the water, and kind of skimmed through the water to see what we can come across, and unfortunately didn't find anything. This exclusive drone video taken by another person at the lake shows these good Samaritans beginning search efforts before more first responders arrived on scene, using their feet to check from the shallow to deep areas off the beach for any signs of the swimmer. We all had hand in hand stretched out as far as we could, just walking through the water, trying to come across to whatever we could come across there. We ran about 20 foot one way, turned around and come back, and then turned around and went back the third time. Officials recovered the teen about an hour after they went under. I hate to see that happen to anybody. The beach is back open to swimmers. Officials ask anyone who comes to the lake this summer to be careful and keep an eye on everyone in your group. At East Fork Lake, Molly Lair, WLWT News 5.